so remarkably well designed that it's destined to become another classic. The new Corvette. Hi, I'm Reese, and as you can probably tell, I'm a classic car enthusiast. The car I'm standing in front of right now is a 1985 Chevy Corvette, also known as the C4 Corvette, being that it's the fourth generation which spanned from 1984 all the way until 1996. Now, if you're looking into investing in an enthusiast car, then you need to know that right now is the perfect time to buy a C4 Corvette. In fact, the C4 Corvette is a great classic sports car to invest in because of its iconic features, its low market value, and its ability to suit a variety of investment standards. So let's take an in-depth look of the C4 Corvette. Corvette's advanced design incorporates many technical features. Motor-driven halogen headlamps provide both low and high beams. One of the coolest features you could find on a car are pop-up headlights, and the Corvette has them. And the way that they actually pop up on the C4 is different from other cars. They do an entire 180-degree flip. The C4 is the first Corvette to feature the target top, which is a single glass or painted panel that can be removed and stored in the back. This way you can experience that open air feel similar to a convertible without the fear of getting crushed to death if you're in a rollover. All Corvettes from 1984 and 1985 were target coupes as the convertible wasn't reintroduced until 1986. Personally, my favorite feature from the C4 is the digital gauge cluster. This can be found from any C4 from 1984 all the way up until 1989 before they redid the interior. This type of technology was super advanced for the 1980s and it has a very retro futuristic look to it. Behind the leather wrapped steering wheel, bright liquid crystal speedometer and tachometer displays arc over numeric readouts of road and engine speed in either English or metric scales. The C4 is actually the only Corvette to feature a clamshell hood which opens opposite from a regular hood. This allows you to see the front suspension and gives you better access to the wheel area. It's almost as if you're unintentionally flexing just by having your car break down in traffic when you open the hood, not to mention how cool it looks at car shows. The C4 is one of the lowest and sleekest cars you'll ever see driving on the road. Along with its lightweight and 64 degree angle windshield, it feels as almost as if you're driving a race car. The best way to describe it is everything feels very analog and you're in tune with everything going on in the road, and it makes it pretty exciting. The stock wheels found on a C4 Corvette have a very unique look to them. They've changed throughout the model years, but for the most part they all have this saw blade aggressive styling to them. Arguably one of the most distinctive features of the Corvette are the circle taillights. These have been around even since the C1 Corvette. It wasn't until about 1990 that the taillights on the C4 became more square and less round. Either way, anybody behind you in traffic can tell that you are driving a Corvette. And finally, the last thing to note about the C4 Corvette, regardless of whether or not it's a base model, is that each one features a V8 engine. And so those are the features that make the C4 Corvette such a great classic sports car to invest in. Well, compared to other Corvettes, the C4 is actually in fact quite underrated. And just like every Corvette for its time, the C4 wasn't exactly a cheap car when it came out. What we're going to look at now is just how much some of these cars have depreciated, making it the perfect time to invest in one. the performance of the world's first computer-activated manual transmission. The great thing is there's different ways to approach the C4 market. Certain model years might be a better option depending on what you're looking for. So let's take a look at some sold auctions from the world-famous Mecham Auto. So if you've been wondering just how cheap you can get a Corvette for, here it is. This one sold for $3,000 at auction. And just based on the few pictures that they show here, nothing really looks off here. The paint may be repainted, but it doesn't look bad at all. The wheels look original. And just based on the price, I'm sure it is a high mileage car, probably over 100,000. But this is a great example of just how cheap they can get. The 84 models tend to be the cheaper option because they have a crossfire injection system. This was a fuel injection system that General Motors introduced in 1982 and stuck with it until 84. And it didn't do too well. It wasn't very powerful. It was set up in a very different way, instead of having fuel injectors on each of the eight cylinders, there were two on the throttle bodies of the car. So just also note that generally the older the C4 is, the lower the value may be. Especially because the production numbers of the Corvette started to decrease through the years. There were just over 51,000 Corvettes produced for the 84 mile a year, and from there it went down, and all the way until 96 there were only about 17,000 made. So here's an 85 that sold in 2018. With only 38,000 miles, $8,800 seems like a pretty good deal for this. And I say that especially because this is a four-speed manual, and generally you pay more for having a manual transmission. So this one isn't even of the lower values. So this Corvette is the 35th anniversary edition from 1988. This is one of those special Corvettes that's a better option if you're willing to spend more money and expect a higher return rate down the road. What makes it really special is the beautiful white leather interior and the white wheels. 
So while this particular one sold for just over 12 grand in 2019, the crazy part is brand new in 1988, this car cost over $35,000. And if you consider inflation and put it in the 2021 money, that's over $84,000. By its very nature, a sports car must have the kind of interior environment that enhances the driver's ability to help maintain control of the machine. Now here's an auction of a C4 from the 1990s, specifically 1995. This is where you can start to see a difference in the values as this is a base model that sold for a little over 11 grand. And I'm sure you can tell the styling on this is a little different from the other Corvettes we've been looking at. This started to happen in the beginning of the 90s. The C4 started to get a little rounder, a little more modern. Not just on the exterior, but also the interior. The digital gauges are gone. You may even know that some of these are actually equipped with airbags. Just as I mentioned earlier, due to scarcity, this is one of those Corvettes that you should expect to appreciate a lot more than value than the earlier C4s. So now that we've taken a look at the values, I want to give you an overview of just how approachable investing in a C4 Corvette is based on what you're looking for in the investment and the car itself. Now, because the fourth generation Corvette went on for such a long time, we're able to differentiate the C4s between the earlier production C4s and the later production. Now, it doesn't have to be this definitive, but you could think of it as the 80s C4s versus the 90s C4s, though it's more of a progressive scale. So to break it down, the early C4s, in my opinion, are the best option if you're looking mostly for affordability and of course the retro styling. Now the later C4s are best if you want performance, safety, and the potential for greater appreciation. So regarding the earlier C4s, they were just more than produced than the other half of the C4 line, so affordability is a plus on that one. And of course, they're best if you love that blocky, retro-futuristic look of the early C4s. Now, if you don't so much mind that styling and you're looking to invest in a car with a little more horsepower, then the later C4s win on that one. The engines in these cars didn't have to struggle so much with new regulation. Not to mention that in the 90s, Chevy released the higher performance ZR1 Corvette, if you weren't already satisfied with the base model. And speaking of regulations, later C4s are just safer cars. Not every Corvette had anti-lock brakes or even traction control. In fact, the driver's side airbag wasn't installed in the car until 1990 when they redid the interior. And only the 94 to 96 model years have a passenger airbag. So that's definitely something to consider. It's kind of funny, if you look at the passenger side of the dash in my Corvette, it doesn't have an airbag, it has a bag of air. But luckily, all C4 Corvettes have seatbelts. And so in terms of investing, the later C4s just have greater potential for appreciating higher. We know that because they're already going for more than the earlier one. And as I mentioned earlier, there were just less of them made the later you got into the 90s. So why is all this important? Well, I wanna conclude with the fact that the C4 Corvette is one of those cars where you have the option to either store it like you traditionally would a classic car, or you can still daily drive this car. If you get one in good enough condition and you plan to save money to use to fix up the car, then it can definitely be done. So if you are gonna daily drive it, then you have to consider the fact that it's not really gonna appreciate much because you're putting on more miles. You could just break even with it and maybe even plan to sell the car once you reach a certain amount of miles so it doesn't go down too much in value. And with that being said, your main priority at this point might be safety. So you may only wanna get a later C4 if you have to live with the fact that you need an airbag. And it would probably be best to stay away from special edition Corvettes because then you're just spending more money to lose more money. So to finish up here, whatever it is you're really looking for in your classic car investment, the C4 Corvette has it. So whether or not the C4 Corvette is your taste, I hope this video inspired you to consider investing in your dream car. So thanks for watching. The new Corvette truly is a driver's car and an outstanding tribute to the Corvette heritage.